Hello and gentlemen, my name is Frank and uh, I've been um, having some issues with my life. First of all, Happy New Year 2018, that's you know, the first week, so see people going to the gym and getting new sneakers and new outfit, you know, to work out and they went to church last week and they're going back this Sunday, but what I realized, you know, is 20 years I've been going to church by the first week of February. 85% of people will stop going to the gym, going back to church until some of them Easter or Thanksgiving or Christmas next year. And it bothered me because I see a lot of people who are not where they're supposed to, you know, to be, including myself. I've been going to church for 20 years and I see, you know, I want to get married, I want to have kids, I want to start my own business, I want to travel the world and I really want to have this global impact that God always promised me. And I, I've been knowing this, this guy I've been watching online, I don't know if you know him, you know, that's the guy I've been traveling, you know, so I don't understand how, you know, like, I pray like him, I'm going to the same church he's going to, I probably heard the same sermon. So what is doing differently that I'm not doing? And I know there's a lot of Christians right now watching this video who say, you know what, I'm asking myself the same questions. So uh, this is why I'm uh, going to ask him <laughs> if he can uh, uh, really, you know, explain, this, you know, uh, Darcy or Gondaga, I've uh, been watching your video, and please, can you explain to me and to the audience mm -hmm. what, yeah. what's going on? I believe I can. Why some Christian I believe are I can. able to, uh, I believe the term is activate, activate their yeah. destiny, and some over don't. So what do you do so different or what is the key? I mean, mm -hmm. not that the key, you know, I don't think about something major, yeah. but if you can give me like a roadmap yeah. and let me know what type of scripture you're reading um, that I don't know about and what you're doing is different. And I would love to have your insight so you can help me be able to uh, yeah. achieve my, uh, my destiny, man. 2018, mm -hmm. I really want to do it. I don't know what book I need to read, what type of fast I need to do, what's the first week. And I really believe that you can help but, me. But you know, first of all, thank, thank you, you for so your much, time. Frank, to uh, welcome me. You know, welcome me in your house, in your living room. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Oh, thank you. One we need to understand as Christian, first of all, is that there's three different level of uh, the life of a Christian. Three different level cycle, if you want, like you know, entire life of a Christian. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. four. Let's let's keep it to three. So, first of all, okay. the way we come into the kingdom mm. of God, it's not a church, it's a kingdom of God, it's a system. Ooh. People come with different needs, different background. So, most people, sometimes when they come to church, you know, just to answer your stuff, okay, it's, it's like uh, wow. they have emotional needs, you know, like uh, they lost someone, they lost a job, or their social status changed for some reason. Mm. So, we need to be restored, we need to trust who they are again in Christ. And that depends on the individual. It can take one year to three, four, sometimes five years. But when they restore emotionally, their, mm. their needs change. Mm. And that's why sometimes you see somebody who used to come to church and mm. don't come. It's not like, you know, he fell back or he backslide. He came for something mm. that he needed and then he goes somewhere else. The problem is like wow. sometimes we try to confuse um, loyalty with growth. Okay. Loyalty okay, got nothing okay, to do with growth. Okay. Some people come from different backgrounds. The way I've been raised up, it's not possible for me to leave my church. Okay. Like I don't, you know, That's because you like I, God gave me a vision. I know I'm supposed to stay there for you know <laughs> for a long time. Hmm. But some people they have short vision, so they come into church just to get something that they need. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's if they respect the leadership hmm. of the house. And make sure that they don't talk about certain things like you know it doesn't matter. That's number one. Okay. But you know some people they coming from okay. love. Some people they came to a church. They are single. They got married. They stayed there two three years. Then they left. They're not they're not bad people. They mm -hmm. got different needs. Sometimes like you know the job wow. for them somewhere else. And so that's what they need the church for. Thank you. So everybody's coming to church not supposed to stay there mm -hmm. four years. What's the first thing that you need to know? Mm -hmm. Some people, they Go take churches God. like Go a career. So I'm going to be here, okay, I came here, I was 20, I'm 65. Wow. This is my church. My grandfather used to, go, he used to go there and there. No. You go to church according to where you're going in life. So, you, you, so that's the first things that people come for different reasons. 
Number two is like the, the second phase of the Christian. The first phase of the Christian is that you need to be born again. Most people, they're not born again, or if they're born, or born again, they never really understand the, the mission of Christ. And when they do, they don't know what to do. So now that you know exactly what to do, the second phase now you need to discover your destiny. And when you discover your destiny, then you can go to the next yeah. level and activate your destiny, find out the seven mountains of influence, what mountain you're belonging to, develop Thank yourself, you. Thank and you. then Thank go to the next you. level you. and duplicate yourself and impact your generation. Wow. And I have a course that you should see on the screen now who can help you how to do that. So that's all I have to do, all I have to say for now. This is Darcy Gondaga. I hope that you enjoy this video. Do you mind if I conclude? This is Dar Secondaga, CEO of Twitter Media. Thank you so much for this interview with Mr. Frank. And I'll see you next week.